pesa ya kusaidia bana Bernard Okoth Imran. ODM party leader Raila Odinga used the Wednesday evening fundraiser for the party's Kibra campaigns to dismiss Deputy President Dr. William Ruto's threats to prepare for an upset in the high-staked mini-election slated for early next month. During the fundraiser, which raised 11.5 million shillings, Odinga told those seeking to bury ODM in Kibra to dare him. <laughs> <laughs> Ruto, head on Sunday while in Capsaret, was in Gishu County, warned of an upset by the Jubilee Party candidate MacDonald Mariga, a lesson he said was for Odinga, who has neglected his backyard for two decades. Jubilee he to Tashinda ile kura ya pale Kibra. Iyo kura ni ya Jubilee. Sisi wote tutahamia huko tufanye campaign mpaka tuhakikishe kwamba hiyo kiti inakuja jubilee. Ile muti ya kitendawili alishindwa na mambo ya Kibra. Odinga who chaired a parliamentary group meeting on Tuesday at County Hall has asked Nairobi ODM MPs to campaign and deliver victory for the party candidate Imran Okoth amid concerns in the party over President Uhuru Kenyatta's endorsement of Mariga to run in the poll. Hey, campaign oh. yen. Ruto on Tuesday said the Kibra contest is not about him and Odinga, despite the by-election having all the markings of a 2022 test run, where the two have been touted as the main contenders. Watu wasikuja wakawachanganya ati pale Kibra, ati hiko mashindano, kati ya Raila, Naruto, na Musalia, sijui na nani. Pale hakuna mashindano ya Ruto, na Raila, na Kalonzo, na hawe ngine. Mashindano hiko Kibra, Niawi Mariga, Owalo, Okoth, na wale wengine. ODM's fundraiser was interestingly held in the same hotel. The deputy president met members of the African Divine Church from Kibra on Tuesday evening, flanked by Malindi MP Aisha Jumwa and Jubilee candidate MacDonald Mariga. The hotel is said to be owned by a former MP. Apul Kamau, K24 Newscat.